I'm Cooper Holbrook with Fins and Furs Outdoor. Today we will be going over goose calling tips and how to. Start off with my goose call. This is a Tim Grounds Super Magnum. Highly recommend. $140. Sounds very good, easy to blow. Um, starting the basics is just how to call, what to blow into it. Um, so for a normal clock, if you're a beginner, this is what you start with is the clock. Um, with a flute, which is how I grew up, it's two wit or twit for just a uh, short clock. Um, I kind of strayed away from that as I got into the short reeds. I do more of a do to get that lower sound, and then instead of the twit, I just do a wit. So it's a do wit, and then it's all with the tongue hitting the roof of your mouth, cutting off the air at the end. Demonstrate that. Just a normal clock, and then you have the long clock and the short clock. Following those clucks, um, you can have the moans. Um, you can put it in any sequence you want with the two wit, do wit, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then at the end, just kind of release the air, and I kind of make it go up at the end. See what that sounds like. With that, um, once you get the basic cluck down and the moans, you can literally hunt geese wherever you want. That's the only two things you need. You can go into those advanced, uh, the five different, the hiccups, the train, and all that. But if you are new at this, that is all you need to get birds down. So knowing when to call at the right time is the next important thing once you learn the clucks, double clucks, um, and the moans. So as you start, sometimes you can get alarmed because the geese are right on top of you right away. But if you're up and looking at them, they'll be off in the distance. And this is when you got, got to let them know that you're over here, that there are geese over here. You just got to be loud, vocal, but you don't need to be precise. Um, there's a lot of people out there that say your notes need to be crisp and clear. When they're far out there, they're not hearing all that. They just got to hear that there's geese over in that direction. So this would be more called screaming. And you can scream with that uh, clucks, double clucks. And you really wouldn't moan here. But it's that hand position, keeping it closed, but then opening up and changing the tones. So this is what it would be like if they're way out there and you're screaming. <laughs> So as you got their attention and uh, they're making their way towards you, now is when it's more crucial to have those crisp clear and pay more attention to how many birds are in the flock and how big your spread is. You don't want to scream if you have a small, small spread. So as you go about this, when they get closer, you got to kind of tone it down, get a little quieter, uh, more precise. And if they have a leader, if it's a strong V, just watch the leader and as you're calling, Go based off what he does. If he's looking at you and you're calling, keep doing what you're doing. If he starts to look away and starts kind of skirting off, try something new. He didn't like it. Um, as they get closer and you need to calm down, this is where it's crisp clear and you have those clucks and moans. Um, especially the greater geese, you got to have more of the groan in it. Um, this is what that would sound like. <laughs> Um, so as they're coming closer, you watch that front guy, if he's liking what you're doing, you keep going. Um, sometimes this will vary every day, sky blue days or cloudy days. When they're coming in, this is all opinion based, you got to trial and error it, um, first flock, test it out. But as they come in, 
you either have to go for the you're excited that they're there or you quiet down. Um, sometimes screaming at them the second they're locked up. When they're cupped, you don't need to scream, but sometimes they really like that, that you're excited that they're there because they're here to mingle. Um, so going from that screaming to then the clucks and then kind of the quiet stuff, which we'll go over, um, is very important. You can't go from screaming straight to the quiet and you can't go from quiet sh straight to screaming. Um, so if they start turning away and they start going away from you, don't pick up and just start screaming at them. Glide into it. This will just kind of, kind of be an all around um, out there, getting closer, quiet. They might turn away. Um, we'll show examples. <laughs> So as they keep circling, you just got to keep going with it. But as you keep it constant, notice how I didn't change from really high vocal to all of a sudden quiet. And when they go away, like a bad thing would do, if they're coming close and then all of a sudden they start leaving and you're going... <laughs> I've hunted with people before and they do that and the second they start screaming you know every once in a while they might turn around but sometimes that kind of freaks them out when you go from absolutely no some murmurs and some clucks to all of a sudden you're screaming at them to get them back you got to gradually get into it um, but as you take this advice into the field you'll learn from it this is just to get kind of you're new at hunting and you're trying it out um, Canada goose hunting is by far my favorite um, duck hunting is kind of a hobby until the geese get here. Something I forgot to tell you guys also is something that you can use in the fields if you're cornfield hunting or bean field, hay field, um, is the da da da's and gur gur gurs. Kind of when they're fighting over food, it's it's kind of an off sound. Um, doesn't have any clucks, so you can throw a cluck in. But I use this especially in late season um, when geese have seen all the decoys and they've heard everything you can blow at them. Being quiet and just the geese go to feed, they're feeding, and then they get out. They're not there to socialize. So that aggressive feeding sound sometimes does the trick, especially on late season honkers. And this, what you say into the call is, you can go da da does or ga ga guz, and it just changes kind of the beginning. So it sound like. <laughs> And as you put in those clucks, it kind of makes it add on to how many birds you have. Um, and screaming at birds in cornfields usually is never the way to go. Hopefully this video will help you, especially the beginners, to get out there, try it. If you have no idea what you're doing, this should help a little bit. Um, as you learn, you'll learn through the other guys you hunt. I learned, I this is my fourth year hunting, so um, from where I was and where I've came, I would say it's a big difference. Um, we will ha be having a duck video up soon, so leave us a comment down below what other videos you want. If this helped, if it didn't, if I messed something up, um, just let us know. We want feedback. Uh, thanks for watching. I got that. <laughs> <laughs>